what's up? I'm back with another video and I, I really don't even know why I say that obviously there's another video up Whatever you know what I mean. I just spent like 10 minutes clearing this back desk over here It was seriously like a huge mess I just tossed everything on the floor on the sides and you can't see it. So that's good <laughs> I'm gonna be filming the get to know me tag just like answering questions so you guys can get to know me duh Come on Cindy. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I found these questions on Google I just googled get to know me tag questions. So here we go what is your middle name? My middle name is actually Valentina. I just like the way it sounds, so I like to pretend it's my last name, but really it's my middle name. What's your favorite color? I don't know. Honestly, I don't have a favorite color. Next. Who was your first best friend? Oh my god, this is really hard because I have the worst memory. I think I've talked about it in previous videos. My memory sucks. So my first best friend? I don't remember. I'm so sorry if I get the wrong best friend, but I think my first best friend was Alexandra. I would literally live at her house sometimes when we were little, in elementary school. Alexandra. I don't know if I should say her last name, but she knows who she is if she watches the video. But yeah, next. How tall are you? I'm 5'9", and it's weird because I was always just like average height, and then out of nowhere in middle school, I just shot up. Now I'm like 5'9". I used to hate it, like I used to feel so weird, and now I actually like it. I like being tall. Now I do. Before I used to hate it. But yeah, let's go. Next question. Cats or dogs? Ugh, I hate when people ask me this question. I just I love them both I have a cat and I have two dogs and I just I love them like I can't pick those are my babies Like I, I can't choose between cats or dogs. They're completely different. I don't know. That's really hard I don't want to pick I don't know because I like to cuddle and my cat loves cuddling sometimes But he's very unpredictable like he'll just cuddle with me for like an hour or two And then I'll just pet him and he'll just go like and just like grab onto my arm. I just don't pull it away or anything. I just let him hold onto my arm and then he lets go. But I think that's all cats, right? I thought that was just my cat. I'm like, damn, my cat doesn't love me. Comment down below if that's just all cats because I'm gonna be so hurt if it's just my cat. But yeah, whatever. I love them both. I can't choose. Funniest moment throughout high school. Here we go again with moments. I can't think of anything. Crap. Funniest moments, funniest moments. I can't think of anything. And trust me. I had a lot of embarrassing funny moments, but I just I can't think of any. I'm sorry No, I have to think of one. It sucks if I don't put it like I have to answer the question damn I wish I could just call up my friends and be like yo <laughs> What was something funny that happened to us in high school? It's not the funniest one, but it's the only one I remember I probably had like way better stories like funnier stories to tell you guys The only one that I can think of right now is my freshman year of high school. I was in PE It was during a time where pantsing was the thing like everyone got pantsed like you had to watch out Like you had to tie your shorts like you know the little string you had to tie them all the way because if not you'd get pants If you guys don't know what pants is just like some random person would walk by you and literally pull down your pants It was horrible. I don't even know why that was funny, but it was horrible and I, I was at the gym just like chilling I don't even know and one of my friends Sasha if I remember correctly I think it was Sasha and if it's not Sasha I'm so sorry Sasha but I think it was Sasha like I said I have the worst memory in the world but I was just hanging out in the gym and I got pantsed in front of everybody and I literally just had to like pull my pants up and like it was the quickest thing I've ever done like my hands were like Phew. Before they even got down, they were already up. Like, that's how quick I was, you know? I knew everybody was getting pantsed. I don't know, I had good reflexes. But yeah, it was kind of funny. I can't even think of anything else, so I'm sorry if it sucks. I know I have so many more stories. But yeah, whatever. That was my funniest moment. Not really, but, you know. How many countries have you visited? I think just two. I've been to Israel, and I've been to Colombia. And I think that's it. Oh my god, it's gonna suck if I realize I've been somewhere else. Dude, I have to take something for this memory. But yeah, I'm just gonna say those two. The next question is, are you in or have you gone to college? I've gone to college. I did like one semester. I know, very bad of me. Don't follow my example, but I did only one semester. I was studying mass communications, but I don't know. I just, I want to go back to college for sure in the future, but right now I'm trying to focus on other things, but I applaud everyone who goes to college, full-time college students, people who work and go to college. I applaud you guys. I just couldn't commit myself that way because mass communications wasn't really what I wanted to do. I definitely want to go back to college. I'm just unsure right now of what I want to study and college isn't really what I want to do right now But I want to get a degree in the future. What was your favorite slash worst subject in high school? Oh my gosh I'm trying to think of the classes I took I'm just gonna say like academic subjects because obviously there's like drama and music and art I loved like reading and writing so I think that'd be my favorite subject my worst subject Oh, I want to say math because math was my worst subject like I suck at math but then again, I sucked at science too. 
I don't know, man. Math and science, my worst subjects. What is your favorite drink? I talked about this in my June favorites, I think it was. I love Sprite, man. It's so good. But I'm trying to be healthier, so a substitute drink that I love is an Arnold Palmer. I talked about it. It's just like lemonade and iced tea together. That's my favorite drink. What is your favorite animal? Oh god, again with the favorite questions. I just, I can't choose animals. Like, I love all animals. I know I sound like a crazy animal freak, but I am. Like, I love all animals. I think elephants are amazing, so smart, beautiful. I love horses, obviously. Dogs, cats. <gasps> Pandas, lions are so majestic. I can't, I can't pick my favorite animal. I love all animals. What is your favorite perfume? I honestly just wear whatever. I can't think of my favorite perfume. I'm just gonna say flower, no flower bomb. What the hell, I haven't even smelled that. The Marc Jacobs Daisy. I mean, I don't know if it's my favorite, but I love it. That's the one I use. You Haven't you guys noticed that in every single video I film, there's always like a freaking piece of hair right here. Wait, let me find it. This right here is always, 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 always popping out in every single video. <laughs> I'm planning on cutting my hair pretty soon. I want to donate it, but yeah, I'm excited to cut my hair. Tea or coffee? I'm gonna go with tea. I don't really drink coffee too much. The only coffee I like is from McDonald's, an iced vanilla latte, but it just sucks because every person makes it differently. So whenever I go to McDonald's expecting an iced vanilla latte, sometimes they put too much coffee or other times, well, it's just when they put too much coffee that I don't like it. But yeah, that's the only coffee I like, but I prefer tea. I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit healthier and I like the vanilla chamomile tea. I just add milk, but yeah, I think tea. What would you or have you named your children? This is so weird. Every time I think of a cool name, or like, I don't know, I see a name somewhere and I think it's really cool, I save it. So I literally have like 50 names on my notes on my phone. Let me see if I can find some. Because sometimes I feel like it could be for dogs, for horses, so I just write them down. I love really unique names. I don't know if I should tell you kids' names or just all the names I write down in general. I like Rain, like R-A-Y-N-E. I like that name, like for a girl, Rain. I like Rowan, Kai, Berlin. I literally have like a long list of names. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> Levi, which I named my little puppy. Camo, Harley, Jax, Ozzy, Neo, Moose, Taz. This cool name I saw for a horse. For a horse. Imagine like a badass barrel horse named Corvette. I don't know, man. I like it. I don't know. It's weird, right? I don't know why I have so many random names in here. But every time I find a name I like, I always write it down because like I said, I have the worst memory. What sports do you play or have played? Dance? Hip-hop dancer? I was a hip-hop dancer all throughout high school like for a competing team. I still go to the dance studio sometimes, but I don't know if you would consider that a sport. Ball sports, I played basketball. I love basketball. I didn't play it in high school just because my high school basketball team was so intense. Like they had practice every single day on the weekends, before school, after school. Like it was an intense team and I just, I didn't have like that much of a commitment. I played in like middle school, elementary school, and then like I play for fun at the park and stuff. I wasn't on a team, but I love basketball. What is your favorite book? I can't think of any right now, but I used to read a lot in middle school. I miss reading. I had a friend in middle school who would recommend me books all the time. Like she was the go-to girl for any new recommendations if you wanted books. There was this one book, it's not my favorite, but it was a really good book. It was about this girl, I think she disappeared or something, and she left cassette tape for each person. I'm gonna Google it. Oh, I think it was called 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, I think? But it's a really good book. There was another really good book about a young girl, she gets into drugs, like all this crazy stuff. It was like a mystery book, but I, I don't remember the name of it, but it was it's like a really good book, like I think it's really known. I really like mystery, like that's my thing, like I love watching mystery shows and books. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I love Kathleen Lights. She's a Miami girl. She has like the best personality. You guys should definitely check her out. And also, OK Baby. <laughs> they have the cutest baby. <gasps> He's so cute. I swear they give me baby fever. Jacqueline Hill, Carly Bible, Aspen and Parker, Tana Monjo. Monjo, she's funny. Rachel Talbot, Megan Batoon. Yeah, just like, I don't know. I have like a variety of different people, you know, YouTubers I watch. What is your favorite movie? Man, I don't have one. I seriously don't. I don't know what to say. I love movies. I just can't think of a favorite one. Sorry. Um, The Lion King, it's like one of my favorite cartoon movies. I love Sandra Bullock movies, chick flicks. I love chick flicks. Yeah, I don't know, I can't think of any, but those are like the styles of movies I like. Are you single or taken? I'm taken. What's your idea of an ideal first date? I crack under pressure, so for a first date, going out to like something really crazy, fancy, and you know, all proper, I, I can't, I get too nervous. <laughs> Not a movie, I don't know. A movie is weird for your first date. You like, can't even talk. Just like a chill, 
dinner somewhere. It's weird because I'm very romantic, but I can't even think of a good first date. It can be anywhere as long as you guys are talking and getting to know each other, I guess. I don't know. How many girlfriends slash boyfriends have you had? Well, boyfriends. Um, let me see. This is so weird to answer. I don't want to answer this question. This is so weird. But starting from where? Because I feel like before middle school, it doesn't count, right? You're a little kid. Being boyfriend and girlfriend is like being friends, you know? I don't know. Whatever. Four. Next. Favorite memory from childhood? Again, with the memories, I suck, but... I was always enrolled in after-school programs growing up, like summer camp, after-school programs. So I, I don't know, I had a lot of good memories in that. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just gonna say that. I, I can't really think of like a specific memory moment that I really enjoyed from my childhood, but I'm just gonna say the summer camp, after-school program. It was a big part of my childhood, so I'm just gonna say that. Do you speak any different languages and how well? I speak Spanish, uh, English and Spanish. I speak good Spanish. I mean, sometimes I get tongue-tied and twisted and I can't find the perfect words, but I think I speak good Spanish. Should I say something? Let me see, what can I say? It's weird because when I go to visit my family in Colombia, they tell me I have like the worst American accent, like when I speak Spanish, but I feel like I don't. I didn't think you could notice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Let me think of something to say in Spanish. Hola, ¿cómo están? Me llamo Cindy Valentina. <laughs> um, estoy contestando preguntas sobre mí, sobre mí, de mí. I don't know, but yeah, okay, good. Next. Do you have any siblings? I have two brothers, an older one and a younger one, and then another brother from my dad's side, and I think a sister too, yeah. But like immediate, immediate family, like the brothers that I grew up with, it's just my older brother and my younger brother. Like those are who I grew up with. So yeah, my two brothers. How would you describe your fashion sense? Oh my goodness, my fashion sense. I feel like I don't even have a fashion sense. Throughout high school, like my freshman and sophomore year, I literally wore like basketball shorts, Crocs, Nike socks, and t-shirts. Like that's what I wore to school. I feel like now that I'm older, I have like a little bit like better fashion sense, but it's always different. Like sometimes I dress really girly. Sometimes I dress very cowgirly. When I say cowgirl, I'm not like, oh. <laughs> Cowgirl, no. <laughs> I go to barrel races, rodeos and stuff, so I kind of dress like cowgirly. I dress like a, just like a hip hop dancer girl, you know, when I go to the dance studio sometimes. Sweatpants, baggy clothes. Yeah, I don't know, I have like a whole bunch of different styles. I really don't care too much about the way I dress. Like, I struggled a lot with that in high school because I'm like, I have to be one, you know? If I'm gonna be girly, I have to stick to girly. If I'm gonna be like hip hop dancer and go to practice and stuff, like I have to always dress like hip hop, you know? I always have to dress like with sweat. Or if I'm gonna be like a cowgirl and go to barrel races and rodeos, I have to dress like that always. And no, like that's something I realized now that I'm older, like that's who I am. Like all those different things is what makes me. If I want to look girly today, I'm going to look girly today. If I want to get my swag on, I'm going to get my swag on. <laughs> if I want to feel like a bum and dress like a bum and be comfortable, I'm going to dress like a bum, you know? I don't know why I just gave you like a deep thing, but yeah, I just don't have really much of a fashion sense. I just dress however I'm feeling that day. What is your favorite restaurant? Again, I don't really have a favorite restaurant. I'm gonna just answer this question by my favorite food. I love pasta and my favorite pasta is from Chili's. The Cajun chicken pasta, that's my favorite pasta, like hands down. Out of all the pastas I've tried in every restaurant, the Cajun chicken pasta is my favorite. So, I don't know, Chili's? What are some of your favorite TV shows? Uh, me and my boyfriend, we always pick like one show and we just stick to that one show. Finish it and then we start the next show. And we watch the whole show, we finish it, we start the next show. Right now we're on Grey's Anatomy. I think we're on like season eight. But before that we watched How to Get Away with Murder, which is so good, oh my God. Scandal, I love Scandal. The Walking Dead, Supernatural. Dude, I love Supernatural. That's my, that's my show. I miss it. I don't even know if they're coming out with another season. I don't know, but those are some of the shows we watch or we've watched. Right now we're on Grey's Anatomy, which is really good too. PC or Mac? I've always had a PC. Just recently, we have like a little Mac, MacBook Pro, whatever. Either one, they're both good. Next, what phone do you have? I have an iPhone 6S in gold. Tell us one of your bad habits. Damn, I have a lot of bad habits. Biting my nails. I know it's so bad. No, I don't eat my nails. I just bite it and like spit it out, you know? I know it's gross and so bad, but I don't know why I do it. I don't know, but I have to stop. Sometimes I go through phases where I let them grow, but then I just, they break and then it just drives me crazy. I'm just like, whatever, and I bite them all off. Another bad habit I have, messing with my face. Every time I have like a zit or something, I just literally sit on the window. I always say window when I talk about this. Mirror. I always sit in the mirror and just mess with my face, which is really bad. That's a bad habit. I have another bad habit, but it's too gross to talk about. <laughs> 
talk about it and then decide whether or not I should put it in while I'm editing. Okay, I have a bad habit of like plucking my underarm hairs. <gasps> I'm so gross, I'm sorry. I don't know, sometimes like I have like little ingrown hairs or yeah, ingrown or I don't know. I just like sit there and like pluck my underarms. It's really bad. I don't even know if I'm gonna put this in the video. Probably not, but I'm just gonna say it and decide later. I think that's it. I think that's it. I mean, I probably have more, but I can't think of any right now. So that's it. I answered all the questions on this tag. If you guys have any more questions, you can ask me down below. Also, like, let me know any new video ideas you guys want me to do, you know? I always get, like, uh, creative blocks. I don't know, hopefully I get more and more ideas. If you can, please like the video and subscribe. I think the like button is somewhere down here. Also, you have to be logged on to your YouTube account so the like goes through. If not, it doesn't go through. I hate when, I hate saying this, like asking for likes and asking for you guys to subscribe, but it really does help and you'd get a notification every time I upload. I have an equine channel, like a horse channel where I put all my little horse stuff. I have one video up there, but I'm planning on filming another video for my equine channel. So definitely just go down in the description box and click the link and you can subscribe to my horse channel if you're interested in anything horse related. What's this? So that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Again, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Also, I think I'm gonna add like my social media links. I only have like Instagram and Snapchat so I'm just gonna add those. I really don't know how to work Twitter. Like I have a Twitter but I seriously don't know how to work it. I used it for like a week and I just... I couldn't. It's too confusing. I'm gonna try again, but for right now, I'm just gonna put my Instagram and my Snapchat links down below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!